Barev, how you stand? Hello, Armenia. It is William calling from Movie Blogs, and we are super excited because blondes, blondes do not always have more fun. Sometimes you gotta go brunette, and that's what AMP TV have done with Brunette and her song Future Lover Devon. Hey, you guys. Hey, William. Should we talk about it? <laughs> Let's, Let's do this. this. All right, I am super excited. In the pre-contest reveal, Armenia's team was saying they really wanted to send another young, up-and-coming artist, just like they did with Rosa Lynn. She had huge success, Will Brunette. Okay, plugging these in, hitting play. I just wanna make art, read books and just find someone Artistic like opening. This is unexpected. Poise. Like Serving Laura Croft. Oh my god, this has a very <laughs> luckily Marina and the Diamonds kind of. Okay, wow. I like this. this is. Beautiful bone structure. Leaning towards left field pop. Oh, I like this. A little bit of haunting vibes. She's got a strong diaphragm. <laughs> This is good. This has perspective. Ooh. Oh, look at the orchestra getting ready for their conductor. She wants this person real bad. <laughs> she brought the whole orchestra to let you know. Oh, yeah. You look great. This is so experimental. Oh. Finger art. Oh! Okay, whoa. I'm just not a fan of this kind of layered, lazy rap. There's fire in her veins, yes. Ooh, what a letdown. Serving Cardi B. Ooh. Okay, wow. it's building. Oh my goodness. I'm here visually and musically. Oh, symphony rap, a symphonic rap. Whoa. Oh yeah, wow. what happens? Do good, look good, yes. This is a risk. This is a stunning video. Yeah. Oh, in Who's holding her legs? Yes, my rap Where's the ladder? Don't drop her. Don't do it. Piano Ew. outro. I'm digging that. You know what? There is so much I love about this. But actually, that middle rap segment, I deeply despise. So, overall, where do I sit? I like this. I actually like this. I love the arresting. You know what I love? I wish this had been completely in Armenian. It would have just cemented the emotions a little bit more, right? But having said that, be good, do good, look good. And you know what? You have to embrace that trinity of being fabulous. Because, you know, sometimes it's not just how you look. It's also what you do. It's also who you are. Do you know what? You cannot divorce those elements. It's like, yeah, you are beautiful, but do you have a purpose? Beauty with a purpose is where we're going. It's where we need to be. It's what makes us human, right? It's not just looking at like plastic mannequins and then just kind of deeply falling in love with them. This takes you to another realm that, you know, that you've got to be accountable to your own beauty. If you have outer beauty, you know what? Search within and look within. 
because it also needs to radiate from here. Love that. This is just one big surprise from start to finish. When it first started, I'm not gonna lie, I was slightly worried. I was like, am I gonna get bored? <laughs> am I really gonna get bored? Then she busts out this rap spoken word segment and it is so strong and so powerful. I think on its own, it wouldn't sound nice, but with the symphonic music behind it, it it's this weird twisting of expectations and it grips you. And then you are so stunned by her visuals, her beauty, her ability to connect with the camera that you're completely sucked in and you're like, what is she gonna do next? She's already been twisted and turning. Maybe her head's gonna fly off. Do you know what I mean? Cause you're just, you're spinning watching this. I think this is a huge risk, a huge risk. However, where there is risk, there is reward. We've seen in this three minute video that she can work it visually. This is stunning. Our girl has somebody holding her ankles up. <laughs> Do they have a giant, you know, on the side? I don't know. She's floating is what I'm trying to say. She's floating. She's flying. She's slaying. She's serving. She's giving skin. It's visual. This is everything. This is everything. This is for TV. This is not the type of song I would put on my Spotify or listen to, but it is definitely something I would watch. And at Eurovision, it's a TV show you watch. So I think they know what they're doing. Armenia is, of course, the country that gave us one of the best revamps of all time in diamonds, uh, Athena Manukin. And they had that big old diamond platform. So if they could do that big old diamond platform, what will they do with this? I am just so ready to see their staging like now. Singing it in English, I guess, makes it more relatable. What I also love about it is that their very modern production flourishes on this track, but at the same time, they've gone to, to the legacy of having an orchestra and, you know, the voices. Voice is important here as an instrument, and traditional instruments are also important, you know? I don't mean traditional as in, like, native instruments, but I just mean, like, orchestra types of instruments, you know, because that features, you know, in the background with the, with the orchestra in the shadows, I really like that. And in terms of emoting expression, you know, between those dumbbells, you know, th this is good. I think we also have to talk about her control. I don't think that any artist, any old artist could do that rap section. It requires precision and control. And I was really impressed with her enunciation. I understood what she was saying. Um, and the fact that she was able to go from that back to her beautiful singing, she's very talented. You know, I mean, Brunette had that big hit smoke break, which blew up on TikTok and YouTube has got over three and a half million views, which is a lot for an emerging star, right? And, you know, I think that Eurovision is a great platform for her to kind of continue to showcase her work and for Armenia in general to showcase talent, right? Rosalind from uh, Snap, Rosalind, look at how that blew up. It didn't even, didn't, who even cares about how it finished? Uh, yeah, it was, it advanced to the grand final, but yeah, that's good. Everybody saw it on Saturday night, right? But beyond that, that song has kind of just moved mountains globally. So going back to what Brunette has put out, I think this is also good. This is moving in the right direction. I like this. It's not a repeat of what was done last year, but it has that art avant-garde feels that Iveshi Mukuchan kind of put out, you know? Love Wave, let's face it, listening to it alone is not the same as watching Ivera slay on stage. And I feel like Brunette as well has a really good song. I would even argue a slightly more relatable song. And performance wise, you know, she's young, she's fresh and she can move. I I'm really confident with this. You know, and for me, I connected with this immediately. I really like the sort of, the storytelling, sort of haunting vocals at the very beginning. I just wanna make art, read books and just find someone who likes me enough to kiss my face. But I was disconnected with the rap segment. I, I cannot lie. I wanna scream and shout. That just threw me off. Like, did we have to go there? But thankfully, it was able to pull me back in. And when she started singing in Armenian, it made sense to me. 
I then went from love to hate and then back to love. Back to love. We gotta get back. Get back to love. I know you need it. Brother says you need it. Sister says you need it. I want to read some comments from the WeWe Blogs website. Bad Wolf Girl says, I wasn't expecting the last part of the song to be in Armenian, which is a nice touch, but it makes you think that maybe the whole song should have been in Armenian. I quite like the mix, actually. I think it would have been a little... It's already very weird, right, musically. So I think to some foreign ears, not everyone, but to some foreign ears, the Armenian would have been another level of difference. And so by starting in English, you can bring people into the weirdness. And then once they're accustomed to your universe, switch to Armenian, which then becomes cool and mystifying and adding to that universe, if that makes sense. Alex says, this is giving some of what Israel wanted to be as well, but this one's much more taste. Vici says, for me, among this year's best ballads and my sixth place in the overall, congratulations, Armenia. Yeah, this is a unique ballad. Ain't nothing else got this extended rap break. Donkey says, I recognize that there is quality in this entry, but I just can't enjoy it. It's quite repetitive and doesn't reach a proper climax. I found myself zoning out in the middle of the song. Quite disappointed as I expected big things from Armenia this year. Okay, the zoning out thing I can understand. I think we just need to remember that Armenia is going to slay the visuals. Based on what they've done in this video, I'm already ha I already have huge expectations for what they do in the stage show. Um, so fingers crossed. Theo says, I loved it. I wasn't expecting something like this. So well written. This could be staged very well. Now we need to listen to her live vocals. It will be in the second semifinal, so we will see Brunette in the grand final. And I totally agree with that sentiment. Qualification, first of all, is not in dispute. I, where's Armenia? William is usually up on that. Semi-final this, semi-final that. I think this stands on its own and will advance regardless of the semi-final. Armenia has been drawn into the first half of semi-final two. They'll sing alongside Belgium, Cyprus, Denmark, Estonia, Greece, Iceland, and Romania in the first half. And then in the second half, it'll be Albania, Australia, Austria, Georgia, Lithuania, Poland, San Marino, and Slovenia. Let's just start out by saying this semi-final, this semi-final is not the strongest of all time. It's really not... And I think Armenia should sail through. This is so unique. This is so different. I think that in a year without a jury, risks can really work. I think televoters respond really well to things that pop out and that are risque, whereas jurors can often be conservative. So this plays in Brunette's favor, but also this is just a good song. I think visually she's going to kill it. I think uh, this song is really going to pop out in that first half. Nothing else in that first half sounds no, nothing in the semi-final sounds like brunette. So, you go, girl. Well, that's what I think. I am loving brunette from Yerevan. AMPTV. Hey, hey, hey. And if you believe that brunettes have more fun, be sure to order my book, Wild Dances, out May 9th. That's the same day as semi-final one. Pre-order link in description. Whether you're an Armenian in Armenia or an Armenian in Glendale, California, y'all gotta order, okay? Check out Wee Wee Blog's mood board on Pinterest. I think we've got one for Future Lover, too. All right, well, that's what we think. What do you think? How high do you think Brunette can climb? Is Armenia guaranteed a spot in the final? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. And we will see you later. Bye! Bye.